What's up, YouTube? Finally, uh, another update on my desktop. I know it's been a really long time. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, so, the reason it's been such a long time is primarily because um, I didn't really... There, there were certain steps that I didn't really justify. I couldn't really justify a video over. Um, and I was just kind of at the point where I was like, well, I'm going to wait till it's like done before I do an update video. So anyways, that's what this is. So um, I'm going to tell you a few little things, well, <laughs> a lot of things that has happened um, since the previous videos that I have. I ended up getting a Rampage 5 Edition 10 motherboard, the X99 uh, board. Uh, this board is insane. I don't think there's a a better board on the market personally. If you look in there, you can see those. Those are dip switches. If you are having any issues or anything, you can actually turn off individual dims, like memory dims. You can turn off individual uh, PCI lanes. Um, I mean, you, you can turn off all sorts of different shit for troubleshooting, which makes it awesome. That way you don't have to rip apart your machine. It just uh, it makes it much easier to troubleshoot issues and things like that. So I love that feature, and so do a lot of other people. These are two Strix uh, GTX 1070s um, and SLI. Um, I ended up going with the 1070s uh, because, honestly, I didn't even need the power of a single 1070 for what I do, uh, for the games that I play. I don't really play a whole lot of intensive stuff. I play like vanilla World of Warcraft, and there is some more intensive stuff that I play, like uh, Doom. 2016 and stuff like that, which isn't even like really SLI supported. Um, but I, I do play a lot of newer titles as well. But the, the primary stuff I play is older stuff that does not require a whole lot of GPU. So I didn't really need this at all, but I really wanted to fill this case up and I really wanted to make this machine sort of an over the top thing. Um, I'm probably not going to block these cards just because these coolers, uh, number one, I think they look great, and number two, they work so well that it's just. I don't really see a need in throwing those in my loop. Um, as far as a block, I have an EK X99 Evo, or Supremacy Evo block, I believe it is. Um, so that block is absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely awesome. Um, as far as the tubing size, I am currently running uh, 3 quarter inch outer diameter and half inch inner diameter. Um, these fittings are just EK compression rotors so basic but they look great um, this reservoir um, I believe is a, it's a coolant reservoir and it's 80 millimeter by 240 millimeter so it's a massive reservoir um, most people are running 60 mil reservoirs today so this reservoir is huge and as you can see that with my radiator it fills up like the entire front half of the PC which is what I went for I wanted there to be not much room left. I wanted to fill this thing out with hardware. So the radiator here, you can't really see it too well, but it is 60 millimeter thick, 360. Um, it's made by a company called Alpha Cool, and it has a very low fin density, which is why I can just run push like that and at very, you know, at pretty conservative speeds to where I'm not hearing the PC get super loud. The temps are still incredible. Um, just due to the sheer size. I mean that radiator is way overkill for just uh, CPU. Um, I'm running a coolant uh, pump as well. Um, and I mean that's that's pretty much it as far as the loop goes. So as far as an SLI bridge, I haven't really decided if I'm going to leave this bridge in or if I'm going to get a different bridge. This is just a basic, super basic bridge, just a basic hard bridge that came with my Rampage board. Um, I honestly do really like this bridge. So I may just leave it, but I may grab like a super cool aftermarket one of some sort as long as it fits the theme. Um, but I haven't really seen too many HB bridges that I'm too crazy with. So for now, I think this will do. So as far as the display that I'm rolling with currently, this is a 34 inch ultra wide by LG. Um, it's nothing super ridiculous. It's a 5ms response time. Um, it's a basic 60 hertz. I can overclock it comfortably to 80 hertz. Like that's not a problem at all. So that's pretty sick. Um, it's not curved or anything, but it is a 34-inch ultra wide. I absolutely love this monitor. I got it for like 300, 
360 bucks. Awesome deal, in my opinion. Um, so this is what I'm rocking. This 2560 by 1080, uh, which is just more than enough resolution. Occasionally dabble with uh, Vegas and stuff like that, but this is more than enough resolution for the things that I do, honestly. I don't need 3440 by 1440. Um, and also the two 1070s, they just own this resolution. Like, it's not even... It's not even a question. Just a single 1070 shits on this resolution as it is, so two of them is ridiculous. So, anyways, that's the uh, the monitor. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, I know this is... I had this labeled as my 2016 PC. Uh, kind of bled over into 2017 to get this thing wrapped up, but you know what? That's okay. That's perfectly fine. Um, a lot of these parts were just really expensive. The board... Um, there's just there's just a lot of stuff that took a little while to get a hold of, um, but now that it's complete, you know I'm I'm ex I'm extremely happy with it. I think it looks great. Um, I may be making a custom LED ring for this reservoir um, at the bottom. No one that I've seen uh, makes a an 80 millimeter um, reservoir LED ring. It's all 60 mil. So if you guys know of anything out there that's an 80 mil ring let me know if not it's not a big deal I'm probably just gonna make one for it so uh, that's pretty much it I'm gonna wrap this video up but I hope you guys enjoyed watching and if you like the video go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you dislike the video thumbs down and as always you guys have a great night and stay classy